I just flew in from Florida visiting a friend here in beautiful, sunny, and breezy Florida. My body's a little achy from the plane, and I wanted to share a little quick sequence that I do while on the chair and off of the chair to get my body moving, feeling much better from being cramped on those seats. Okay, so we're gonna have our feet planted firmly, hip width distance apart on the ground, knees on top of the ankle, shoulders on top of the waist. We're gonna draw our belly in and start our practice with our hands to the heart. Take a nice deep breath in and out. We'll do one more breath in and out. Let's take our arms all the way up. Let's reach up to the sky. And if the sun's in your eyes and you're doing this outside with me, then close your eyes. Reach up, high 10 to the heavens here. And then exhale, sway your arms to the right side. So my left, your right. Come back to center, breathe in. Exhale, sway to the other side. Relaxing your shoulders. Come on back up, breathe in. We're gonna extend our arms out, opening up the chest, drawing the belly in. Breathe in here. Maybe flexing the wrists as I'm doing so, expanding your yoga fingers, breathing in, and exhale. We're going to release the arms. We're going to roll the shoulders out for three. Keep on breathing, two, and one. Let's go ahead and take our right arm all the way up, stretch the side, opening up the rib cage, feeling a little bit more flexible. Come on back up and release. We'll do the other side. Up, inhale, exhale, sway. Inhale, lift up and release. We're gonna take both arms up, touch your fingers, and expand again, opening up the chest, drawing the belly in. Inhale here, and then exhale, go ahead and twist to the side. Come on back to center, breathing in. Exhale, twist and move off to the side. Great, inhale here, and then exhale, sway. So as we do this stretch, rather than the palm down, we're gonna have the palm facing up. So we're opening up a little bit different part of our shoulder and into our ribs. Great, come on back to center, breathing in, draw the belly in, exhale to the other side, palm up on the top hand, relax shoulder on the bottom, you're doing great. Inhale back up, exhale twist, good. Come on back to center, breathing in, exhale twist to the other side, inhale and let's go ahead, release the arms down. Roll the shoulders out three times. Three, two, and one. Reminding ourselves that this is a little practice that I kind of do when I get off the plane. I'm kind of settled back into the space that I'm at. Of course, you can do this anytime you want. This can be a regular practice when you start your day. I'm rolling my wrists up, and then I'm gonna roll them inward all the way down in front of me. We're gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna roll the wrists out while taking my arms all the way out and up. Multitasking here, breathing in, and then rolling them inward and bringing my hands down into the center. Perfect, let's go ahead and get those fingers going. So we're gonna do our little piano up into the sky. And let's piano to the side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, pianoing to the other side. Wonderful, come on all the way back up. Reach, draw the belly in, and then exhale piano play all the way down with your hands on top of your thighs. Let's go ahead and do a cow and a cat here. Opening up the chest, breathing in here, sticking the tailbone out, rolling the shoulders back and down to the tail, and then exhale, rounding the back, drawing your fingers to the front of the knees, drawing your belly to the back, chin into the chest. Good, let's do that a couple of more times, breathing in. Practicing outside and fresh air is amazing. Reclaiming those lungs, breathing in, and then exhale, breathing out. So adding a little bit of Chinese medicine principles here, we're gonna go ahead and tap onto lung one, lung two acupuncture pressure point. So it's right underneath your collarbones. We're gonna go ahead and tap right here, breathing in, and exhale, breathing out. It's always nice to kind of reclaim your lung space feeling really confident that you can breathe in that nice fresh air and out. Especially if you've been on the plane, you feel like hey, it's kind of all a little bit congested in there. Okay, one more time, breathing in as I'm tapping, and then exhale, we're gonna release the arms. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get up off of the chair. We're gonna stretch out the legs a little. So we're gonna press ourselves all the way up. I want you to go ahead and have yourself situated to the side of the chair just like this, okay? Feet are always gonna be hip width distance apart, always for support. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands down, again, arm shoulder distance apart onto the chair, okay? So bending down to the chair, spreading our yoga fingers out, spreading them and stepping back. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching consciously into my calf muscles and you'll notice I'm kind of bending my legs, feeling really confident that I'm using the support of my chair and I'm bending and then I'm going to step back up and I'm going to reach all the way up to the sky, breathing in and then out, taking my hands back down to the chair, arm distance, shoulder distance apart, spreading my fingers out, stepping back and I'm going to go ahead and bend my knees. And so. What I'm doing here is I'm like stretching into my calf muscles, okay, and then I'm stepping back to my chair, drawing my belly in, reaching up to the sky, breathing in, and then breathing out. We're going to do that one more time, planking our hands down and stepping back, bending my knees, feeling really nice and loose, and maybe swing the hips now at this point. Really going to get the hips, the knees moving, and stretching out the calves, okay? Now we're going to Step our feet back, hip width distance apart, drawing our belly in. Reach your arms all the way up. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And then exhale, take your hands down. Kind of notice how we feel right at this point. We're gonna take a nice breath here. Breathe in. And out. Now I want you to go ahead and take your hands back down onto the chair. This time engaging the belly muscles. Drawing the belly in and stretching the legs nice and straight. We are in a supported plank pose. And I want you to come up off of the heels, off of the ground, lifting up and drawing the belly in here. Holding it for three, feeling nice and strong. Two, one. Then you're gonna bend the knees and step forward all the way up. Inhaling, so we're kind of creating a little bit of heat while we do this plank pose. Exhale, we're gonna take our arms down to the sides. We're gonna do that again. So breathing in, arms up. Exhale, take your hands down onto the chair. We're gonna step back, maybe more supporting yourself on the balls of your feet. I want you to draw your belly in. Start to draw the shoulders on top of the wrist, tight belly. We're gonna keep our neck neutral to our spine, holding it here for three, building two, building heat, two, and one. Okay, you're gonna bend the knees and step forward. Inhale, reaching all the way up, inhale. Exhale, take your arms to the side. You're doing great. We're going to do that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take your hands down. We're going to step back. Really find that beautiful form for plank. Okay, so I'm planting my heels down and then I'm pulling the heels off of the floor, drawing the belly in, keeping my neck neutral to the spine, putting my shoulders on top of my wrist. Nice, tight belly. Let's hold it for three. Breathing, two, one. Perfect. We're going to bend the knees, step forward, and reach all the way up with a nice tight belly. Inhale, reach, and then exhale, take your hands down to the sides. Well done. We're going to go back and, back and sit back down onto the chair. Again, feet are hip width distance apart, feeling nice and supported here. We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to take my hands to the sides of the chair, making sure my shoulders are on top of my waist. I'm just going to start to lift up, up feeling nice and comfortable here. Good. And then when you're comfortable with this, we're going to lift up and extend out, up and down, up, extend, up and down, up, extend, up and down. And as we do this, we're drawing our belly in, extending, chest is lifted. Okay, we're just going to do a couple more. Again, the purpose is to get a our chi and blood moving, feeling kind of getting back to ourselves from sitting, for me purposely, from sitting on that plane, kind of getting all the joints together. Okay, perfect. From this point now, we're going to go for a gentle twist here, going ahead and taking our left hand to the outside of our right thigh, and the other hand is going to be nice and supported onto the back of the chair. So breathe in here, lift and lengthen, and then exhale, twist. So no grinding your sits bones into the chair. Relaxing the shoulders, breathing in. Exhale, twist. One more time, breathing in, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. This feels really
really good. We're going to go ahead, look behind us, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. And we're going to turn our heads, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed, breathing in and out. One more breath in and out. We're going to release. Let's go to the other side. So this time we're taking the right hand to the outside of the leg and the the left hand planted firmly into the chair. Inhale, lift and lengthen, and exhale, twist. You'll notice that in a lot of my sequences, I do this twist. Very important for the upper thoracic spine. It's also even great for your digestion. So we're gonna breathe in here. Lift and lengthen, and exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Okay, shoulders are relaxed. We're gonna look behind us. Breathe in, and then gently stay in that twist and look in the opposite direction, breathing in and out. One more breath in and out. To come out of this, we're gonna breathe in, and then exhale, unwind. Okay, we're gonna roll the shoulders out three times. Three, two, one, and I'd like you to take the left leg, left knee up, and then go ahead and cross it. So a lot of times when we're sitting too much into that plane, it gets into our hip. Just do a gentle stretch into the side here. This may be just enough for you, but if you want to emphasize it, we're going to go ahead and draw the belly in, chest up, lean forward, nice flat as a board, and as you start to feel a little more oomph into this hip, we're going to round our upper back and melt here. For two breaths, we're gonna melt and hold it for three, up two, and one. Breathe in, and out. Good, tight belly, engage your belly muscles, come on up. Lift and release, we're gonna release that down, and then we're gonna take the other leg up, always supporting your spine, tighten that belly, lift up, cross the leg here, Ooh, this is really tight for me just sitting like this so honoring the body making sure you're feeling comfortable but if you want a little extra little oomph we're gonna lift up the chest come flat as a board draw the belly in lean forward and ooh, that is a lot for me right now so I'm going to round my upper back and melt forward you may be asking yourself well, why are we doing that in that sequence why are we flat board and then rounding the back well if I asked you to kind of round the back come all the way forward as much as possible you may end up pulling something and giving yourself sciatica nobody wants piriformis syndrome so we're going to honor the body round the upper back melt at our extreme point breathing in and out one more breath in and out okay we're going to draw the belly in press yourself up well done support your leg and release it now everybody knows if you've done any of my other sessions before my um, videos, I'd like to tap. So we're gonna tap out any of that stagnated chi, any of our life force that kind of gets stuck. So my hips are feeling a little stuck here. So I'm gonna take my hands into a little gentle kind of fist here, or you can, if you want to, not fist, I'm gonna take our open hand, your choice, your practice. We're gonna tap onto um, our glutes here, the largest muscle in the body. And then we're going to go ahead and tap all the way down. And with a nice tight belly, we're going to press and tap all the way up. Okay? Do that again. Tapping all the way down. Keep on breathing. And tap all the way up. One more time. Tapping down. And up. Ah, great. We're going to take another last deep breath here. Breathe in. And out. Thank you for joining me in my practice today. I hope you were able to loosen up that chi, any blocked, any blocked stagnated chi in your body. And I hope that you will be able to join me in other sessions. Well done, everyone. Namaste.